Hello each and everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago pa sa aking channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and bell button para kayo lalo na update. Today, we're going to discuss about the ratio and proportion. So, some examples about ratio and proportion. For now, we're going to define what is a ratio. A ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities. The ratio can be written as a fraction using the word two or using a column. And for the definition for proportion, is the equality of two ratios in which there are ratios on both sides and can be written in two ways as to equal fractions for use of columns. But before we proceed, let's discuss about these properties of proportion. Case we have here, cross multiplication property. So if A is to B is equal to C is to D, then A times D is equal to B times C. So cross multiplication. B and D is not equal to zero. Okay. So alternation property. From the word alternation, so alternate. So if A is to B is equal to C is to D, then A is to C is equal to B is to D. So ito siya. Numerator dito, ginawang denominator dito. Okay? Yung denominator dito, ginawang numerator dito. Where B, C, and D is not equal to 0. Okay, we have here inverse property. So from the word inverse, if A is to B is equal to C is to D, so babalik na rin lang natin. Then, B is to A is equal to D is to C. Where A, B, C, and D is not equal to 0. They are not equal to 0. Addition property. Okay, if A over B is equal to C over D, then A plus B over B is equal to C plus D or over D. Okay, so I am sure where B and D are not equal to 0. Okay, so next. Subtraction property. So if A over B is equal to C over D, then A minus B divided by is A minus B is to D is equal to C minus D is to D. Where B and D are not equal to zero. Okay, so you observe that nothing yet. Later on. So I hope you can follow the properties of proportion. So solve for the unknown. In the following proportion. So, I'll give you one example here. Kung na kapasin yun, na discuss na natin itong part na to, dun sa previous video natin. So, you have 10 to x is equal to 3 of 10 is to 6. So, you multiply the means, then the extremes. So, x times 15, so that is 15 x. 15 times x is equal to the extremes, 10 times 6. Then simplify this, that is 15x is equal to 60. Since the coefficient of x here is 15, so divide both sides by 15. Then simplify, this is 15x divided by 15 is equal to x. Then 60 divided by 15 is equal to 4. Okay, so I hope you can follow that part. So let's discuss this. A car travels 120 miles in 3 hours. How far would it travel in 4 hours? Okay, so this is distance is to time. Okay, so we have here in illustration 120 miles is to 3 hours. So the question is how far the anvalayo ang na travel ng 4 hours? Okay. So, given this 120 is to 3 is equal to x is to 4. So, I let x for the distance of far. Okay. So, multiply the extremes and means. So, first, 3 times x is equal to 120 times 4. Simplify, 3 times x is 3x is equal to 120 times 4 is equal to 480. 
since the coefficient of x here is 3, so divide both sides by 3. Then by simplify, that is x is equal to 80 divided by 3 is equal to 160. Therefore, how far will it travel in 4 hours? The answer is 160 miles. Okay? So I hope you can follow this. And let's study this situation. Mr. Wan conducted a survey on the learning modality of students. So we have here, okay, first is printed module, e module, and Google Meet to his mathematics class. Okay, he found out 20 of them want printed module, 10 want E module and 15 of them want a Google Meet class. Okay, let's analyze this. So, first, susulat natin yung mga given. Printed module is 20. E module is 10. We have the Google Meet is 15. So, a total of 45. So, ang students niya ay 45 lahat. Okay, so 20 plus 10 plus 15 is 45. So let's have here the situation or the question. Ratios of students want a printed model to the total number of students. Okay, so gagawa natin siya ng ratio. Printed module that is 20 is to the total is 45. So pwede natin siya simplify divisible by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 45 divided by 5 is 9. So, the ratio is 4 is to 9. Sinimplify lang natin this. Next, ratio of students wants a Google Meet to the total number of students. So, what is the ratio? The ratio is 15 is to 45 or pag sinimplify natin, this is 1 is to 3. Next. Ratio of students 1 and E module to the total number of students. So ratio of students 1 and E module to the total number of students. We have the E module choose it is 10 is to total is 45. Simplify yes that is 2 is to Nine, so divided by 5 to so both sides. Next, last question. Ratio of the students want a printed module to the E module. Okay, yes. Printed module is 20 is to 10. So lowest term. Okay, 2 is to 1. So I hope you learned something about this part of the lesson. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.